Hello there. I'm here to help you get started mining with bitcoins really quickly. First, you'll need your bitcoin wallet. It will serve as your address book and it will So here we are. And I will be helping you how to get your bitcoin wallet. And you will also learn how to get your bitcoin miner client. So we'll go over to bitcoin.org first link in the description and you want to download either the windows zip file or the windows exe file or whatever version you have so you need to download and after you do it'll come up over here in your download section at the bottom it'll be at chrome you want to set it up and follow the installation and there shouldn't be any funny business here. You could just click next without any without any annoying add-ons. And then you'll be given your Bitcoin wallet. Now right now it says out of sync and yours is probably going to say that as well. So it's going to start synchronizing with the network and make sure that everybody's playing fair. It'll say okay so this is where we're at right now. I, I don't know 100% of what that's supposed to do but it's, it's I know that it's better to have a fully synced wallet than having a not synced wallet. So, if you go to receive coins, if you do not have a an address right here, you could just click new address and then it will give you a new one. All of these are under your control, so you get all the funds that are sent to these addresses. But more wallets, uh, more addresses do not necessarily mean more money. Now that you have your Bitcoin wallet it'll start sinking it may take from a couple hours to uh, several days for me it took about three or four days now we need to get you the bitminter client so now we need to go and get to bitminter.com this is right now the easiest way for me to start for you to start bit mining if you don't know anything about it what you want to do is log in if you have any of these accounts then it will prompt you for that account information and it will enter in using that account information it's really easy and convenient now first now that you have this set up you want to go over to my account you go to workers and you want to add a worker now the name and password here isn't much of a security issue it's more of a uh, uh, yeah it's not really a security issue but if you just go over and type in potato or something easily to e or something easy to remember like snow one snow two or anything like that and then you set the password to whatever you want then you'll have a worker now you need to write down which worker that you want to use so if it's no one and then password so now that we've got a worker now all we need is a bitcoin client so we'll go over to tools bitminter client and we'll go to latest and it will give you this what you want to do is you want to download this and probably you might want to keep this on a nice place on your desktop So after you download it, it'll pop up over here. Accept the risk. There aren't any ill effects that I know of. And then you'll have this. And then you'll have this. Your small problem is, is that we don't have, we didn't set up our worker. How does this know to give our account money? Well, it doesn't. So we need to go to account. You put in your username for the Bitminter website. And it will tell you up here that you are logged in as. And it will tell you. So you log in as your Bitminter login. You type in the name of the worker that you want. In this computer's case, it's Snow. You type in the password. And then you proceed now it knows which one to use let's probe all ports for FPGAs 
Okay, so there's nothing here. We'll go over to options. At startup, start all devices, automated devices. Make sure that all these are automatic and always start a new device. Okay. <laughs> and then you start engine. Now it will start working. Uh, this computer is slow compared to uh, using your graphics card because I'm using a CPU. I recommend using a graphics card, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that. It's probably you just go down over to Pro Ball Ports for FPGAs. You go to Options. Okay, now it's going to start working, and soon it will start giving you shares. Now, with a Bitminter client, with this Bitminter client, you're working with other people to generate a block. So, now we'll go over to account details, and this is the auto cash out. If you want it to auto cash out to, oh goodness. Now this is the auto cash out. It will automatically give you this number of bitcoins whenever it reaches this amount. So what you want to do is you want to change because it should say no. It, it shouldn't say anything when you start. Now to get your, you want it to pay to the address that you find in your Bitminter wallet or Bitcoin wallet, which is right here, Alex One. So you take this one right mouse click copy address go over here I'll just uh, double delete this I'll just delete this right mouse click and paste and it will put your Bitcoin wallet address now within any certain amount of time you may receive bitcoins